Ngayon naman, um, gamitin natin yung properties of logarithms sa pagsusolve ng mga uh, logarithmic equations. So, meron tayong tatlong uh, logarithmic properties. We have addition property, subtraction property, and power property. So, yung addition property, if meron tayong dalawang logarithms, and if we're adding them, pwede natin siyang isimplify at gawing logarithm of m times n as long as yung base nyo is pareho. So, direct um, self-explanatory naman yung mga properties basta magagamit mo lang siya if yung mga basis nila e eh pareho. Otherwise, hindi mo magagamit yung properties. So, yan yung uh, tatlong properties na gagamitin natin ngayon para sa uh, lesson natin. So, unang isa sa mga application ng properties of logarithms e eh, yung pag-expand o yung pagpapa haba ng uh, logarithmic expression. So, for example, meron tayong logarithm of 3x base 7. Pwede natin siyang i-expand, pahabain, using addition property. Kaya, from logarithm 3x base 7, ngayon, ano na siya? Logarithm of 3 base 7 plus logarithm of x base 7. So, pagka pinahaba nyo siya, make sure na yung basis nyo eh, parehas pa rin. Kasi ginagamit na natin siya ng addition property. And for number 2, Logarithm of x over 7 base 11, tingnan nyo lang yung uh, properties nyo ulit and uh, check nyo kung anong properties ang pwede nyo gamitin para i-expand siya or pahabain. So, using subtraction property, logarithm of x base 11 is now um, minus logarithm of 7 base 11. And dun sa last example natin, uh, minsan, uh, isang property, pwede na. Pwede na natin siya pahabain. Minsan, kailangan natin gumamit ang dalawang properties para pahabain yung logarithm. Like yung example number 3. Meron tayong logarithm of 5x squared. So, yung mga properties na gagamitin natin dito para ma-expand siya, eh, addition property at saka yung uh, power property. So, una natin gamitin yung addition property. So, paghiwalayin natin siya, so magiging logarithm of 5 plus logarithm of x squared. So, since meron exponent yung second term nyo, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify using power property. Kaya, yung expression natin naging logarithm of 5 plus, ngayon, 2 times logarithm of x. So, yan yung pag-expand ng uh, logarithms. So, kung pwede natin siyang expand pwede rin natin siyang paikliin. So, yun yung susunod natin example. condensing logarithms naman. So, yung condensing logarithms naman, yung given nyo naman, eh, mas mahahabang logarithms at ang goal natin, eh, paikliin siya. So, yung uh, number one, logarithm of x base 7 plus logarithm of y base 7. So, using addition property, pwede natin siya i-condense into logarithm of x, y, base 7. So, pinaikli na natin siya. So, number two, we have 3 logarithm of x plus logarithm of 2 using power at saka addition property naman. Um, yung unang property, which is addition, pwede natin siya i-combine. So, ginawa ko siyang logarithm of x cubed times 2. And then, pwede ko siyang i-simplify pa na gawin sa standard form. Kaya, yung sagot ko is logarithm of 2x cubed. So, dalawang properties para paiklaan siya. And for number 3, medyo mahaba yung logarithms natin. So, pag mahaba yung logarithms nyo, expect nyo na na marami kayong uh, properties na, na dapat gamitin para mapaikli siya. So, isa-isahin natin siya. So, meron tayong 3 log of x base 2 minus 4 log of quantity x plus 3 base 2 plus logarithm of y base 2. So, yung unang term, gagamitan natin siya ng power rule at saka yung sa second term. So, pag ginamitan natin siya ng power rule, itong dalawang to magiging logarithm of x cubed na base 2 minus logarithm of quantity x plus 3 to the 4th base 2. Tapos, kokopyahin nyo lang yung logarithm of y base 2 kasi wala naman siyang, hindi na natin siya masisimplify. So, pag tapos nyo isimplify siya, pwede mo pa siyang ipaikliin using subtraction property naman. So, pag may subtraction, ang alam, ang magiging, mangyayari niya, magiging fraction siya or division um, proper or division um, symbol. So, meron ka na ngayong logarithm of, yung numerator mo is yung first term, x cubed all over the denominator nyo, which is yung second term. x plus 3 raised to 4 base 2. So, nakombine mo na yung dalawa, kopyahin mo yung huli, 
So, since dalawang logarithms pa rin yan, kailangan mo siyang paikliin into one logarithms. So, kailangan mo pa siyang applyan ng last rule, which is addition rule. So, pagka pinag-combine mo siya, para ka lang nagko-combine ng uh, uh, fraction, multiplication of fraction. So, kung meron tayong um, x over y times y, it becomes y over 1. So, pag kinombine mo siya, multiply mo across. Kaya meron tayong logarithm of x cubed times y all over yung denominator, uh, x plus 3 to the fourth. So, yan yung condensing. So, uh, nagamitan na natin yung properties para paikliin yung uh, logarithmic expressions at pwede rin natin siyang pahabain. Ngayon naman, i-apply natin yung properties ng logarithms para mag-solve ng expressions or to simplify an expression. So, dito sa example na to, meron tayong uh, given logarithms. So, yung first logarithm, eh, logarithm of 7 base b, which is equal to 12. Tapos yung isang logarithm mo is logarithm of 3 base b, which is equal to 5. And logarithm of 12 base b, which is equal to 31. So, meron tayong tatlong logarithmic equation. Gagamitin natin tong tatlong to para masolve natin yung logarithm of 21 base b. So, paano natin isosolve or evaluate the logarithm of 21 base b? So, meron tayong 21. Obviously, wala yung 21 sa mga given logarithms. Pero pwede tayong mag-come up ng dalawang numbers or gusto nyo tatlong numbers or kung ano yung pwede, pwede tayong gumamit ng addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents para makapag-produce ng 21 based dun sa mga given logarithms which is 7, 3, and 12. At uh, dito sa mga given um, um, sa problem, to produce 21, ang pwede lang natin magawa e eh, mag-multiply ng 7 and 3 para ma-produce yung 21. At yun yung ginawa natin. Ginawa natin yan kasi kailangan natin ma-produce yung 21 using yung mga given logarithms. So, pagka uh, expand natin si 21 into 7 times 3, we can use the addition property para ma-solve natin yung value ng logarithm of 21 base b base dito sa mga given. So, ngayon, uh, meron tayong logarithm 7 base b plus logarithm of 3 base b using the addition property. And since alam naman natin na yung logarithm 7 base b ay given, which is 12, isa substitute lang natin yung mga corresponding logarithm um, equations. So for 7, we have 12. And for 3, we have 5. So, yan. Add yun na lang. 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. Kaya, ang logarithm of 21 base b is equal to 17 based dito sa mga given na logarithms at sa paggamit natin ng uh, properties ng logarithm.